Hi, 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 Tom. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi, Great, Very good, thank, thank you. you. Um, so Linda with EUR Web, I wanted to actually start by asking you about stealing the space stone in end games. You kind of ultimately created a branch reality. Is this where the series starts off? Yes, is the short answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we, uh, yeah, Avengers Endgame, the, the 2019 Avengers go back in time mm -hmm. and uh, you see that the Hulk has to take the stairs. He can't get in the elevator. He blasts through the, the stairwell door in the lobby. The suitcase, briefcase rolls to, to Loki's feet. Tesseract um, pops out of it and he bends it down and picks it up and disappears in a puff of smoke. And that's where we begin. And which Loki are we gonna be seeing in this new series? Cause I, I feel like he doesn't have a sense of self-awareness in this. So. Can you maybe elaborate a little bit on that? Like, what Loki are we seeing in this new series? Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's the, the, the Loki of 2012. Mm -hmm. um, he has just, uh, we're just at the end of the events of the first Avengers movie. So the Avengers, the original six, have assembled to stop him from taking over uh, Manhattan in New York City. And... Um, rather ignominiously he's been smashed around the penthouse of Stark Tower by the Hulk like a rag doll yeah. and his ego is rather bruised and um, he's full of grievance and uh, entitlement um, and what's supposed to happen next is he goes up to Asgard and is, is, uh, is confronted by Odin and condemned to spend the rest of his life in a dungeon and then we go on through the dark world and Ragnarok and Infinity War but this Loki has not lived out any of that. This Loki is, yeah, the last thing he understood was he was surrounded by a bunch of Avengers and, and had nowhere to run. I love that. Now, Tom, what are the Loki lectures? <laughs> <laughs> and um, just the follow up to that. Yeah. Is it true that there's a binder that exists? You know, probably, probably. <laughs> Probably is. Um, so yeah, the, the Loki lectures were um, for all sorts of reasons, which I hope will become clear as the series unfolds. Um, we had uh, all of our heads of different departments, whether it was production design or costume or stunts or hair and makeup, they sort of, we all needed to be, to synchronize watches on, on who Loki was and what his, history was. And um, I found myself in a conversation with lots of different people about it. And I thought to save time, it might be interesting. Kate Heron, the director said, why don't you give a presentation on your experience of playing the character to the crew? So one afternoon in uh, January of 2020, I um, sat in a, in, a, in a boardroom with a whiteboard and a, <laughs> and a sort of, you know, it was kind of my Loki TED talk. I don't know. It was, um, it was probably not very interesting. <laughs> it probably was very interesting. But um, I think at least we got on the same page. And uh, I think there is a binder somewhere um, with, some, with some scrawled notes about glorious purpose and the horns and gold and green and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, thank you so much. I'll be looking for the master class and we can't <laughs> wait for uh, the new season. Appreciate your time. Right. Thank, thank you. you.